Hi friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last video, I have discussed about the cursors. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video or if you don't know what is a cursor, I sincerely request you to go back and watch that video and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss in detail about the parameterized cursor. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss what is a parameterized cursor. A parameterized cursor is a cursor with arguments or parameters and it allows us to create dynamic SQL queries with conditions containing the variables. So normally if you take a cursor we will not pass any parameters to it. However if you are using the parameterized cursor you need to pass the parameters. With the help of these parameters we can able to create dynamic SQL queries. Suppose let's take that I want to find the employee name of the employee whose ID is 50. Then what I will write, I will write select e name from EMP where employee ID is equal to 50 end with the semicolon. Then it will give me the employee name of the employee whose ID is 50. But with the help of the parameterized cursor, if I take the employee ID from the user, that employee ID if I give to this query then whatever the employee id the user is providing you the help of the parameterized cursor that employee name only will be displayed so it help us to create the dynamic sql queries with conditions containing the variables now let me provide the syntax of the parameterized cursor then you will write cursor and the cursor name whatever the name you want to provide you can provide and then open the braces you need to provide the variable name and the data type and close the braces is you need to write the select statement end with semicolon like this you need to provide the parameterized cursor so what is the syntax you need to provide the cursor then cursor name variable name data type is select statement so after declaring a parameterized cursor whenever we open it we need to provide the value to be used in the parameterized cursor this is the declaration of a parameterized cursor then what you need to do you need to open a cursor when you are opening the cursor that value you will provide here so the declaration is cursor cursor name variable name data type is select statement so after declaring the parameterized cursor whenever we are opening the cursor we need to provide the value to this parameterized cursor so what is the syntax to open a cursor is you need to write the open keyword and then you need to provide the cursor name whatever the name you have provided in the func cursor declaration and then you need to provide the either a value or you need to provide a variable or you can provide a expression okay anything you can provide suppose let's take that you are providing a value that value will be assigned to this variable for the corresponding cursor suppose if you provide a variable that variable value whatever it is there will be stored to this variable so this is the way you can declare a cursor and this is the way you can open a parameterized cursor now let me discuss a simple program for explaining the parameters cursor in detail so what i will do i will open the sql plus and you know it know that we need to provide the declare statement and then i will write employee which is an emp table row type end with semicolon then i will declare a cursor called c123 is the cursor name and then i will write low underscore salary which is a number and similarly i will write high underscore salary which is also a number so i am taking two variables here the variable name and the corresponding data type one is the low underscore salary and another one is the high underscore salary and then i will write is select star from emp where sal between low underscore salary and 
ഹൈ അണ്ടർ സ്കോർ സാലറി സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ മീനിങ് വെൻ എവർ യു ആർ ഓപ്പനിങ് ദ കർസർ യു വിൽ പ്രൊവൈഡ് ദ ലോ സാലറി ആൻഡ് ദ ഹൈ സാലറി യു വാണ്ട് ദ ആൾ ദ എംപ്ലോയീസ് ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ഹൂ സാലറി ഈസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ലോ സാലറി ആൻഡ് ഹൈ സാലറി സപ്പോസ് ലെറ്റ്സ് കൺസിഡർ ദാറ്റ് ലോ സാലറി ഈസ് ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഹൈ സാലറി ഈസ് എയ്റ്റ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് സോ യു വാണ്ട് ടു നോ ദ എംപ്ലോയീസ് ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഹൂ സാലറി ഈസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഓക്കെ സോ So we have declared a cursor now I will write the begin statement and then I will open the cursor called C123 I told you whenever you are opening a cursor you need to provide the value suppose let's take that I want to give the low salary is 800 and high salary is 1500 and then I will end with the semicolon now I need to fetch one record another another record so I need to to write in the loop and then i need to fetch the cursor so i will write fetch cursor and then i will write into employee end with semicolon and i need to write the exit condition so exit when c123 percentage i will use a attribute called not found end with semicolon and then i want to display the employee number employee name and his salary so i will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i will write employee is the row dot i want to know the emp number and then provide the concatenation open the single quote provide the column and then close the single quote provide the concatenation and then i need to write employee dot e name provide the concatenation open the single quote column close the single quote and then again i need to write employee dot sal end with semicolon and then i want to end the loop and what i will do i will close the cursor called c123 and again i will open the cursor called c123 this time i will provide the low salary is 500 and high salary is 800 now i will end with the semicolon and then i will write the loop again i will write the fetch c123 into employ end with the semicolon then i need to write exit when c123 percentage not found attribute end with semicolon then you need to write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i will write employee dot emp number concatenation open the single quote close the single quote and concatenation employee dot e name provide the concatenation then open the single quote column close the single quote and then i will write employee dot sal close the braces end with the semicolon then i will end the loop and then i will close the cursor called c123 end with the semicolon then i will write the end and then backslash now what we are doing is that we have declared one cursor called c123 which is a parameterized cursor which takes two parameters one is low underscore salary and high underscore salary based on these two variables i am displaying the employees details whose salary between the low salary and high salary so what i have done i have opened the c123 cursor with low salary is 800 and 1500 is the high salary so in this one we are fetching all the employees whose salary is between 800 and 1500 then 
again i am opening the cursor called c123 this time i have provided 500 and 800 so one time i have provided the low salary is 800 and high salary is 1500 next time i have provided the low salary is 500 and high salary is 800 so uh, here all the employees whose salary is between 800 and 1500 will be displayed here it will display all the employees whose salary is between 500 and 800 like this whatever the values you want to provide for the parameters you can provide whenever you are opening the cursor let me press the enter now you can see first time we got the employee information as 7369 Jagadish 800 7521 ward 1250 7650 Martin 1250 7844 Turner 1500 like this we got the values and similarly we got the 7876 adams double one double zero okay and then 7900 james 950 okay and then 7394 miller 1300 next time only it has given the 7369 jagadish 800 so whenever you are opening the cursor with 500 and 800 only this row has been displayed where the employee number is 7369 employee name is jagadish and employee salary is 800 whenever you are displaying the information of the employees whose salary is between 800 and 1500 then you can see 800 jagdish has been displayed what 1250 martin 1250 turner 1500 adams 1100 james 950 miller 1300 has been displayed so like this you can provide the parameterized cursor i will open this program in the notepad so that i can discuss in detail for you what I will do, I will press enter here. Now declare, I have declared one row type variable which is an employee of a EMP table and then I have declared a cursor called C123 which is a parameter as cursor. I am taking two parameters and then based on that one I am finding the employees information. Then I have written the begin statement. I have opened the cursor C123 with low salary is 800 and high salary is 1500. And then I have fetched all the records whose salary is between 800 and 1500 and then I have displayed that information using the loop statement then i have closed the cursor again i have opened the cursor to retrieve the information of the employees whose salary is between 500 and 800 that information also i have fetched and then i have closed the cursor and then finally i have ended so this is the way you can work with the parameterized cursor now let me discuss about the parameterized cursor with default values what is meant by default value if you are not providing any value then the default value will be considered suppose let's say that you are working in a software company by default saturday and sunday is a holiday for you but however your manager has informed you on a friday evening stating that tomorrow everyone has to come to the company then that saturday is not a holiday for you but however other saturday and sunday is a holiday for you so by default saturday and sunday is a holiday however if there is any instructions on a friday evening then that saturday is not a holiday for you so that is what the meaning of the default values in the earlier example we have declared one cursor called c123 and then i have provided low underscore salary which is a number type and then i have provided high underscore salary which is also a number and then i have written is select star from emp where salary sal between low underscore salary and high underscore salary end with semicolon then if you open the cursor called c123 and provide it 100 comma some 2000 then what is the meaning the so low salary will get the value as 100 high salary will get the value as 2000 then it will give all the employees information whose salary is between 100 to 2000 now if i provide the default value to some variable suppose let's consider that high salary i'm giving the default value is 
1000 and if I open the cursor with 500 then what it will happen is that low salary you have provided as 5000 sorry 500 then high salary you have not provided then the default value will be considered as 1000 so it is nothing but you are opening the cursor C123 with low salary is 500 high salary is 1000 so if it does not provide the high salary the default value 1000 will be considered suppose let's take that you have opened the cursor called C123 by providing 800 comma 2000 in this case the low salary will be low underscore salary will be 800 high underscore salary will be 2000 here the do default value 1000 will not be considered i hope you have understood if you are providing multiple variables in the declare of the parameter is concerned then the last variable you can consider it as a default variable and the previous one you cannot consider as a default one so the first value will be 500 then other value will be at the default value 1000 here the first value will be 800 and the high salary will be 2000 now let me discuss this one using sql plus first i will declare right and then i will declare one variable called employee which is a emp row type end with the semicolon then i will write a cursor called c12345 or let me write it as c underscore one two any name i can provide and then i will write low which is a number comma high which is also a number but i will give a default value which is thousand so i'm assigning a default value thousand and then i will write is select star from emp where sal between low and high end with semicolon and then i will write the begin section and then i will open the cursor called c underscore one two and here i will provide 500 then low will get the value as 500 high will get the default value which is thousand and then i will fetch all the information by providing a loop and then i will write fetch the cursor called c underscore one two into i need to provide space into the row attribute called employee and then i will exit this loop when c underscore one two is not found so i am providing an attribute called not found if the information is there i want to display that information so dbms underscore put underscore line and then i need to display the employee number so i will write employee dot employee number concatenation open the single code provide the column close the single code and then i need to write employee dot e name provide the concatenation open the single code column close the single code and then i need to write employee dot sal end with the semicolon and then i will write end loop and then close c underscore one to end with the semicolon then i will write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and then i will provide single quotes and continue some stars i will provide because i want to again open the cursor so whatever the previous values it will display after that the stars will be displayed and then whatever the information i want to display now it will be displayed i will again open the cursor called c underscore one two this time i will provide as 500 comma 2000 or instead of 500 let me provide 800 comma 2000 end with the semicolon then low will get the value as 800 high will get the value as 2000 so you are retrieving the employees information whose salary is between 800 to 2000 then i will write the loop and then i will fetch the information from the cursor called c underscore one two and i will keep into a variable called employee and then i will exit this loop when c underscore one two 
not found attribute i will provide and then i will display the information from the employee which is uh, employee number employee name and then employee salary so i will write employee dot emp number where employee is a variable which consists of the row or single row will be stored okay then employee num name which is e employee dot e name again provide the concatenation open the single quote provide the column close the single quote and then employee dot sal end with the semicolon then you can end the loop and then you can close the cursor called c underscore one two and then you can provide the end and then you can read it now what happened you did not provide the concatenation here let me open this one in the notepad and let me provide here here the concatenation should be provided let me save this program close it and then provide the backslash again there is an error again open the edit we have saved this one oh here also the issue same issue here also it is there okay now close this one now we got the output first it has given the employees information whose salary is between 500 to 1000 because you have provided the low value is 500 high value you have not provided then the default value 1000 will be considered so employee number is 7369 employee name is jagadish employee salary is 800 then 79100 james 950 so 800 and 950 is between 500 to 1000 then then you have provided the low value is 800 high value is 2000 so this time it will display the employees whose salary is between 800 to 2000 so 1900 800 1250 1250 1500 1100 950 1300 is in the range between 800 to 2000 like this you can work with the parameterized cursor with the default values i hope you have understood parameterized cursors and parameterized cursor with the default values if you still have any doubts related to this concept feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day